I'm going to talk to you today. I know that I don't have a lot of time. I probably have way too much content, so bear with me a little bit. But I chose this beginning because it's a journey, and we're on the journey. So we started this path about a year ago that I want to talk about. And the path is a really interesting one, and, and it goes very high. You know, we have new CEO, we have new leadership, and we'll talk about what that means to us through this morning. So when I think about that, you know, sort of my charge and, and my group's charge is really to say, you know, what are we going to do with all of those changes? How do we take advantage of a new vision of the, com the company? And how do we make world-class advertising? You know, that's what we really want to do, right? We want to do good ads. All of us in this room know that. And how do we do it? You know, we can't just, the industry has changed so drastically, we can't just come up with great ads and great creative and say that's going to do something really well. It has to be so grounded and so based in real data. We have so much information now that I think, you know, we have to make sure how we use that data and, and what we do with it. And really sort of at the end of the day, why we're doing this. We're doing it for the same reason. And I think, you know, we want to drive sales. We want to inspire our customers. We want to have a good perspective to our customers. And if I think about Microsoft in that way, we have some big challenges. You know, we have some legacy great brand identification at the company, both as Microsoft and as Windows. But we also are in a very dynamic world. And we have some big challenges to sort of change who we are, change how we look, change what we say to people, and change perception across our whole company, inside and out, about what we do and where we sit in the industry. So, you know, if I think about the inspire here, that is a really big deal. But we also then have the reality that, you know, you guys have clients probably just like us, like advertising can do everything, right? It can, it can sell everything. What's the goals behind that? So we have to, you know, hit at all levels. And so as we talk today, I just wanted to level set sort of where we came from and what we were trying to accomplish. Okay, we're an engineering company. We have all these brands, all these companies, or all these, these different divisions, all these products that we needed to bring into some unified state. Not an easy thing. So when we got a new CEO, and when we started to look last year to say, we need to unify marketing, we need to be Microsoft as the umbrella, and we need to pull all these things together, we need to create an organization that is marketing across the company so there's some identification. Because if you think, you know, in some places, if you say Xbox and you say Microsoft Xbox, people are shocked by that. Xbox is Xbox, of course, it doesn't have anything to do. Bing, to, an, to you know, some extent, some places, Skype, Microsoft Skype, you don't think of those things. And so as we look at that, we don't have any synergy between those brands. We have all kinds of great strong brands, but no synergy. And so no synergy in media, no synergy in communication, and no synergy to our customers. So we endeavor to change that from an organizational standpoint to begin with. So as we did that, we thought, okay, inside we've got that set up. We have a structure, we have an organization that's good. But now externally, we have to have some unification of our message. How do we get to talking to people in a comprehensive way so that they understand Xbox is from Microsoft, the same people who brought you Office, the same people who brought you Windows. There's innovation there. There's all that goodness in that brand equity. So changes. So let's talk about really, as they say this, you know, we go, okay, we're going to unify all those brands that you just saw in some, some communication. Never easy. You guys work with really complex companies, I'm sure. We're no different. I mean, we are gold differently, you know, we have different objectives. And so this year, bringing that all together from an organization standpoint, great. Now we said, okay, we have to unify those messages. Very different. So just think for a second about all those things, about Bing, about Office, about Windows, about Skype. Those are different messages completely. And so, you know, we look at advertising, you say the biggest thing we had to do in the last probably 18 months was introduce a new Windows. Windows is completely different. Everybody knows Windows, but no one knows the modern look of Windows. And we have to do that in advertising. That's <coughs> big. That is not, broad reach campaign is not the easiest way to do that. So you have to really think through 
that business challenge, we have to think about how we use that, how we change customers' opinions in a really short format of 20 second TV spots, difficult. Our commercial space, the same thing. We have to unify all of our products around you know, the cloud. As we've become a device and services company, we have to reposition Microsoft and rechange the perception that people have of Microsoft as that desktop company to being a cloud services company in the enterprise. That is a big perception change. So these were not small challenges that we're going through. So when we think about the business challenges, so those are audience splits. Business challenges, each of those groups that I just, that were on that video, each have their own goals. They have their own revenue goals. They have their own you know, perception goals. So we have to unify that and make those be consistent and unified somehow to where it becomes not a dumbed down in communication, but a communication that really means something and we can house that and we can make the point to our customers. And if you look at you know, the thing that Karen mentioned about my, my impact on this, and I think about you know, what a particular market thinks is relevant and good at one time, people are different. People are different everywhere. So there is a cultural issue. So where we have big penetration in online, mobile, in one market, we may not, like Russia, not that big. You know, they're a little bit behind. India, crazy mobile market. So how do we make sure that we, we say the right things in the right market, but we have scalability? So that was another big project for us. And I'm gonna talk about how we got there. And then the market's changing. The market is changing dramatically, both the market that we work in in terms of you know, what products we sell, we're going online to mobile. You guys read all that about Facebook and advertising being so mobile now versus the media market. You know, social was not a big deal three years ago. It didn't make any impact, so we have to be agile. So we are 100,000 people with all those product divisions to be agile. No problem. <laughs> it was easy. And as I said, we're on a journey. So what we really came to is, you know, we are, a, we are moving to a device and services, but we have to be one. And so what we kind of rallied around the, the idea of one experience for everything in your life, because that really is the salient point that is scalable. It is what we offer. It is, you know, it's Windows based. That's our, our baseline, our home, but it is actually can grow with us. So if you think about the experience you have across both consumer products and enterprise products, that's kind of our rallying. So we kind of got the organization around that thought and kind of pulled them together and said, okay, now we're gonna work on a consumer and a commercial communications in that vein. Okay, so I wanna talk again a little bit about this. So you say one experience unified across those products. So we are working very hard from an engineering perspective to give a common experience across the Windows platform, whether that be on mobile, on tablets, on PCs. You get that common experience, so that unification is really key. But again, you have all those stakeholders and all those successful brands. And so we had to think of a vehicle in a communication perspective to house all that. Because we have to deliver different messages at different times about different products, some go deep, some don't go so deep. And so there's a lot, you know, a lot of complexity that we looked at. I want to talk about the consumer plan because this is a solution. So now I've set up all this whew, change. <laughs> here we go. So here's what we did. We took a look and said, you know, we're going to start in holiday with a consumer platform that's going to house all those things. Principles behind that, certainly. We have to be simple. You know, again, you have all that complexity, but consumers can't digest that. And, and I think about a broad reach campaign, again, you know, you think about the formats that we use and you distill. Every word is important, absolutely every word, whether it be print, whether that be TV, whether that be a pre-roll video somewhere, every single word. We need to think about what's new and what isn't. So consumers, you know, we want to educate them, we want to talk to them but we don't want to overwhelm them and over complex them. So that is, you know, one of the things that we really came through. Cultural appropriateness. This is near and dear to my heart for sure, because, you know, in the past when we started advertising and Microsoft really invested heavily in consumer advertising, started about five years ago. 
And they did what most companies do, and they you know, sat at their headquarters. They developed a great bunch of creative, and they said, this is great. Isn't it funny to the rest of the world? You know, and then you send it to France, and they go, yeah, not that funny. And we can't do that. You send it to China, and they say, we have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> and so we had a lot of work to say, you know, how do we get that, that balance appropriate? Being competitive, Microsoft has stayed for years away from being competitive until this year. And we have come to a position where we're a challenger. We're no longer the lead in the market, so we have to be competitive. We have to do comparisons where we can. We have to show that. And we kind of gave ourselves permission for the first time to do that. And then continuity. Certainly, you know, we have, we have dabbled in some of the media, but we need a continual conversation with our consumers. And so these are the guiding principles that we set out to build the campaign. So here's what we got to. This campaign platform. We saw the right side of the screen with a product demo. We're, we are talking about some complex products, some big messages. And also, you know, people want to see what we're talking about. Always in our advertising, they have to see it. They want to know what Windows was. They want to know how it worked. But Microsoft being a sort of democratized brand, that's who we are, that's who Windows is, they're for everyone. We decided to have a platform that allowed someone that was relatable to tell you a story. And to tell you a story while it was being demonstrated. Because we struggle constantly with that. Do we do a product demo? Do we do a, you know, do we do a human interest story? How do we get people? And so we've come up with this platform that is actually a very flexible platform to where we can put different people in different situations depending on their culture, depending on where they live, and what's relevant to them. So as I talked about, you can have someone in India using a mobile phone. You can have someone somewhere else using a tablet that they like. You can have a two-in-one. You can have a desktop, which is big still in some places. You know, you can do whatever you want in this vehicle, but you have the unification of common platform, you have common statements about what it is, and we use the term honestly being, honestly, I'm going to tell you something. Now, in the UK, I know you all are like, honestly, I'm lying to you, right? <laughs> I know, I've heard this. Um, we did a bunch of testing because we knew that would come up with I can name about five markets where that came up. And it's not been the case because, you know, part of this was really to figure out who is in the UK, who are the people that you would relate to and not think they were bullshitting you, basically. When they said it, they want to say it. And so we really did take, take effort to do that. In China, we did the same thing. We had very relatable people. And so I want to kind of give you an example of that platform on a, on a product I don't think you've, you've seen an ad for in this, but just so you see how it works. Honestly, I wanted a phone with a better camera. My boyfriend has a lot of can't miss moments. I checked out the Windows phones and saw the Lumia 1020 has 41 megapixels, so I can zoom way in even after I take the picture. And I can adjust the shot before I take it, so I get it exactly how I want. So I went with the Windows phone. Maybe I just see things other people don't. So that platform allowed us to show that person that we wanted to, that's a target, so you read immediately who your target is, and you see the technology happening as she's talking about it, but she does not have to do it. So it worked out. So we have compete ads in that vein, so that somebody says, honestly, I thought I, could, I, thought I got what I wanted from this, this new PC, but I've realized that I can only use it online. And so you see a PC, a Windows PC working offline. So we've given this this really big breadth and sort of permission to say whatever we want in that story and tell those stories. And it's been very successful. Now, how did we transfer that? So I mentioned, you know, sort of the language. The language is only one thing. So that when we thought about this, we really took a step back about two years ago before the Honestly campaign and looked at how do we get that global relevance? How, what do we look at and how do we manage that? So we took a look at cultural anthropology models and really based what we do on those models. So we used a guy named John House and he has a model that is 
um, takes the world into cultural clusters. So he splits the world into 10 sections. And they are based on communication styles and communication um, key insights in those cultures. They're not language based, they're not political based. So if you take a look at Confucian, so we've just named it Confucian. So we have China, Japan, Hong Kong, Korea, not politically positive but culturally the insights and the cultural values those people have and the base of the communication and how to make relevant communication in those cultures is the same. And so that sort of guides our principle to say, you know, we have permission in some places to be um, a little bit more direct, I would say in the UK and sort of more of Anglo, Australia, US, some of the Canada stuff. We have much more permission to be direct than we would in a place like Confucian where their cultural insight is, that is not a positive thing. They would not take that on. They would not see that. And so we have used that cultural context to split our world and our um, how we execute locally across all the things we do based on that cultural anthropology. And that is, believe me, like two hours worth of discussion. But it's actually been very insightful for us to do that and much more successful because we now know that, you know, really good good information on this works in this culture and we can never do it but we can use the same platform to communicate across the world. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about media strategy which is also sort of a new, we've gone a new direction in media over the last couple of years as well. So with our media, you know, we used to do above the line broad reach campaigns and then talk to our field and say good luck with the below the line we don't want to hear about it <laughs> and they would you know do whatever they did and we really you know as we have new leaders we have a new um, CMO and this is a quote from him and really to distill this and what he's talking about here is we have to connect our investment and every piece of communication all the way through the sales funnel Right, he talks about an unbroken demand chain, which is a great thing and it's the ideal. You know, how do you measure consumer marketing again in sales is a hard thing, but they have to be connected. There's no way you around that. So we have spent a lot of time and energy, and you guys, I know that you and Adam will say, ugh, you know, trying to connect above the line and below the line for us here. So we've really taken the pro programmatic approach that you have to have a programmatic approach to, the, to do this. You have to use search in a new way. You know, search is not just um, for, for um, sort of FYI information. Search is the step before you buy now and you have to connect that to the messages that you have seen in broad reach. You have to connect that. Custom media presents such a great opportunity for us and we have done an increasingly better job at connecting the dots between custom media programs and associations that we use with networks and, and publishers to pull together our messages within honestly about devices and really bring all that through. And as well as out of home, you know, one of the things that we've learned about out of home, and, and I think that the UK is brilliant about this because, you know, if you go to Tottenham Court Road and you have lots of out of home there or outside of a curry somewhere, that we have seen big results versus branding out of home. So we've made that work in a very different way, very intentionally from a media strategy. And then I just, you know, I want to talk a little, just briefly hit on a couple of these things. Seasonality, we have very different seasons around the world, and that has to do with some of that cultural thing. What are the tent poles? What are the high places that we really invest in? Which is a different thing for us to be a little more flexible on that, we've seen as a company. And then social, as I mentioned, for sure. You know, social was never, you know, it was a side thing, and social is now becoming such a critical piece of our media mix. As we look at that and you think, you know, social is going to drive conversation the way we want it to, and we want it to drive honestly conversations. We want to bring up those people. We want to really pull that forward. So we've spent tons of time on that. And digital goes without saying, digital and mobile. That's, you know, we're going there. Okay, so just quickly, because I know I'm speeding through this. So what we did, right, we integrated all those products and services into that campaign platform, which has been very successful. We've made it culturally relevant. We produced, um, this was last week, over 65 spots 
This week, I think we did seven more in Prague, eight more in Prague, so we've moved that number. But this really allowed us, this campaign sort of platform allowed us to be very cultural specific in a very cost effective way so that we could actually execute quickly, use the same premise, and move forward where it's relevant. Um, we're unifying the one marketing approach that is an ongoing battle in consumer for sure. And then continuity with media and media relevance being through all the channels in every market and as we bring that through, being very conscious of how do we link that through the sales process, okay? Good for consumer. I have like three slides on commercial that I wanna show you really fast because this one is new. This one has launched this week, and this is a very different goal. This is a perception change, as I said. We really want to make a difference in the cloud. You know, we, we have cloud services. We really want to start that and say, gosh, you know, how do we make Microsoft a device and services company up front, and how do we change that perception in corporate? Because that's a really important piece of business for us. So we have challenges, as I said. You know, we're kind of known for where we've been versus where we're going. We are not you know, born in the cloud. As I said, we have lots of great legacy in Windows and, and enterprise infrastructure, but we need to move beyond that. And so we've taken a really different approach with the commercial campaign. And what we've said is, you know, we wanna be the Microsoft Cloud. And so instead of telling you about all the business things, we wanna show beautiful images of what the results of using cloud technology is. And so we've used real life case studies to look through that. And actually the Formula One, have you guys seen this in the UK? Okay, I won't show you this one. Have you seen the city of Barcelona? Okay, I'll show you that one. So there's a couple of these that are real live case studies that are beautiful imagery. And we've sort of said, you know, that's who we wanna be. That's what we wanna represent and be like. And so we've used that very distinctively. We have some iconic um, graphics that I haven't taken it, I haven't put in here just for time, but we're identifying that, which again is a unifying platform. It goes across Azure, it goes across all of our server products, it goes across the enterprise the same unifying way that we've done with the consumer, but this is just barely in the market, so this is just building, but same principles exist. It begins with anticipation. It's built on preparation for the city of Barcelona. Throwing one of the world's biggest parties starts with the cloud. Powered by Microsoft Dynamics CRM, Azure, and SQL Server, this cloud helps ensure all voices are heard, and the festival goes off without a hitch. This cloud turns chaos into clockwork. This is the Microsoft Cloud. So if you see in that, you know, we've used a very different tone for us. And we've simplified those complex products into that last graphic that you saw that we will use as that unifying character through the whole campaign. Okay, media strategy. So just a quick note about this. We've done a very different thing with the media with this campaign as well. So we really have taken a look to say, you know, we wanna talk to BDMs and TDMs around the world. We rarely have done com commercial TV, in fact, I think ever, but we've decided to try some regional work here. So we've gone with regional media. So in Europe, we've done Sky um, and CNN. So we're talking to very business people, business traveler people. We know very clearly that there is not spill in every market. And so we're kind of taking a chance. And we know that that's happening. But we're, we're looking at, you know, what are the key markets? Where does the key investment happen? And where can we you know, see that that's, that's working. So the UK has an investment, France has an investment, and the rest is a regional thing in this market. But, you know, I think that we will see results for this in the ne in probably in the next month, but from what's, what we've seen so far, the performance is very high to this kind of a thing. And we've, you know, it is, it represents something completely different going to TV for us to the commercial audience. So it's really kind of exciting. So we're waiting to see. Okay, so what's next for us? And then, do we have time for questions? Okay, good. Okay, we're gonna continue with the branding and advertising for Windows devices. Again, you know, very complex product launch that we've done, education product process. And doing that in, a, in an advertising format is a really tough thing to do. So 
we're redefining Microsoft. You know, as you see, and I talked way fast about this, but we're redefining what Microsoft is in the world and where we sit and how we communicate and what our tone is. And so this is our, our you know, huge broad reach redefinition. We're making us, you know, an online company, which is a really different thing for us too versus sort of, you know, based in the desktop. And then we're taking consumer business to the cloud. You know, we're taking all of that and saying, what do we need to do? How do we need to move with the marketplace to get there? So, okay. Okay, questions, because that was a lot of information in a really short time. <laughs> 